Taurus, what's good? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I'm here to do a quick love reading on y'all, okay? I wasn't even gonna come on here. I got somewhere to be, but I'm tapping in with y'all because y'all reading really been bothering me like bad. Um, so let me like this Palo Santo. What's good, Taurus? Please like, share, and subscribe. I, I, okay. Yeah, my spirit guides are saying that this might be a warning reading for somebody. Because I already kind of pulled some cards out here for you, Taurus. But mm -mm, we're going to see. Okay. Because I don't know what the fuck going on, Taurus. But anyway, let's just hop straight into it. Please like, share, and subscribe if this resonates. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because I got some you know, I got makeup on and stuff. Look, if you want to know what's going on, I mean, some of y'all probably do, some of y'all probably don't, some of y'all probably don't care. But I be trying to be more open on the channel. But it is my birthday weekend. Yes, Leo Gang is my birthday. So some of you Tauruses, you may be celebrating a Leo's birthday. Some Leo somewhere in your vicinity, or you can have Leo in your chart. Let's get into it. Okay. All right, Taurus. So I got legal issues. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra or you're dealing with some sort of legal issues, um, court cases, immigration, lawyers, visas, child support, whatever it could be. And then we got caught a case. So somebody out here could be, I'm hearing reprimanded. So somebody out here could be in legal trouble for giving somebody an STD. Now, that's not going to be for everybody, so take it as it resonates. My readings are always vice versa, but like I said, when I pulled your cards, Taurus, my guides were like, this may be a warning reading for someone. So, Taurus, if you're dealing with a Libra, I will be careful, okay? If you know a Libra or you're dating a Libra or something like that, I will be careful, or they should be careful, yo ass. Take it as it resonates, but yeah, somebody out here could be getting sued, um... For giving somebody something also this card even though it says caught a case sexual infection sexual disease or rash this also um to me is spiritually transmitted disease so this could be somebody that has some sort of entity attached to them a toxic this is somebody that's extremely toxic okay then we have boss daddy these three cards came out together like this so this is somebody who has some sort of professional uh job they could work for the justice system whoever this is i'm hearing this person could be a business owner or an entrepreneur or um this person likes to dress nice maybe they like to wear suits or something like that or this person um i'm also hearing my guys say this person always acts like they're busy like if you're dating somebody towards whoever this man is or this woman is and they dress really nice they dress really professional but it's like hard to catch up with them or hard to spend time with them because they're always busy, busy, busy. I would be careful because this motherfucker might have something, okay? So protect yourself. Protect yourself. All right. And then and then I was just like, when I seen that card, I was just like, okay. Because that card has two meanings for me. Literally, it could mean like a STD or a STI. Um, but it's also, like I said, the spiritually transmitted disease for me as well. However, then I got this card in my other deck, the Isley Brothers. It says, you're contagious. So, Taurus, be aware. If you have, like, somebody who's... you, Maybe you're getting approached by a lot of men. It says the Isley Brothers. It says, who's that lady? You're contagious. He footsteps sex between the sheets, Mr. Big. So, yeah, Taurus, you could be getting hit on by a lot of men or or or, or women. But, this like, people are just drawn to your energy it's like people are looking at you like a sex symbol so i don't know what you're doing Taurus, but you're like exuding some sort of sexual energy that's attracting people but be careful because i feel like one of these people may have something okay please and i feel like whoever this is it says coming to america so this could be for some of you it could be an aries because eddie murphy is an aries 
but this could be um i don't know i just feel like this person likes to dress nice i'm also hearing capricorn so i feel like this person just likes to dress nice they like to be presentable professional um they come off like they're like very i'm hearing high standards or something but this person and then we got the elements card here so this could be somebody with a platform for sure it's a tourist out here with a platform for sure they can have some sort of std but if this is not a person that has some sort of platform because you know eddie murphy was is an actor so yes this could be somebody with a platform or some some sort of significant job that requires them to dress up or dress nice or something um or they just like to look well put together all the time. Like this person, I'm hearing this person has a thing for like um, just looking nice. You know what I'm saying? Like they like to be well groomed. They like to get their hair cut. They like to have uh, their hair done, whatever. They like to, um, I'm hearing shea butter. This person likes shea butter, whoever this is. But yeah, for some of you, this could be somebody from your past with a Beatles card. This reminds me of like, um, people who somebody who wants to make peace with you Taurus. so this could be somebody from your past that like fucked you over this could also be somebody like in the past that may have gave you a std before who's trying to come back from the past and you don't want to have like look at him like this person really thinks that they're for to get back in your good graces or this is you but i feel like somebody here wants to make amends with you Taurus. but either this person could have possibly given you something before when you were dealing with them or this person separated from you or you broke up with this person for whatever reason and they've been out here thotting and bopping and caught something and now here they come trying to come back towards you towards talking about let's make amends let's be back together or something like no somebody i don't know somebody out here has been messing around dating all these men all up in this this is very sexual energy to me like somebody out here was being promiscuous and i think it didn't go well okay like this person i don't know hopefully they were protecting themselves i don't know you need three cards of course but yeah it looks like you're just getting a lot of attention from the opposite sex um yeah we got marriage out here yeah Taurus. it's like somebody all of a sudden wants to be in a relationship with you now now they've been out here messing around and probably even caught something or they're in trouble like legally or something Yeah, high honor. Or this could be somebody that you're married to. Maybe you and this person were separated. I feel like if you are married, Taurus, and you and your person may have been like at odds with each other and separated for a minute, I still think somebody was out here like being promiscuous. They took this separation or this break from you to basically, I'm hearing, go sow their oats. So I don't know, Taurus, or this is your ass. Yeah, look at that despair. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, look. Imprisonment on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, if somebody gave if somebody gave somebody some sort of STD, and normally, I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for people, but I've never known people to go to the extreme of getting, like, um, legislation involved. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I've never heard of anybody getting legislation, legislation or like legal shit involved from catching something unless it was something that they can't get rid of. So, Taurus, be careful because somebody out here is in despair. Okay. I feel like this person was married, high honor. They had it all. And when they broke up or they separated and they thought, Okay, like I'm single, I'm free, I get to go do what they want. And they did just that. But they ran into somebody that almost made them catch a damn case or they did. And now this person is in despair. Like, I don't know. Like, Taurus, this could be somebody that you dated or you were with that was on the up and up at one point. Maybe this person did have a good job or 
you know, they did make a lot of money or they did have a career where they had to dress nice or whatever. But it seems like somebody's life has been going on a downward slope for some reason. It's like unemployed, not hiring. This person can't find a job. They could be depressed. Um, they could be struggling to try to figure out where they're going to stay, where they're going to live, how to pay. I'm hearing how to pay their mortgage or their rent. Like, I don't know. But I feel like this is how shit was when you were with this person. Marriage with high honor. Like, I feel like you were in a, if you were in a relationship with this person, I feel like it was a spiritually ordained union. Like, God did approve of this union, of this marriage or something. But I don't know. It's like somebody either took it for granted or they didn't take it seriously. Or they thought that they would have been happier single than in this marriage or relationship with you, Taurus. And... So it's like you gave them what they asked for. You're like, okay, cool, bye. Like, if you want to be single, you want to go do what you want to do, do just that. And I feel like this person, they did. They went out there and was all happy and shit. Like, yes, I'm free. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. But they end up catching some sort of case, either legally, sexually, or both. Now this person wants to return to you and make amends and shit. And I feel like, look at all these men. You know, gender isn't specific in my reading. So this could be, a, I mean, it is a bunch of men on this card, but it could be a bunch of women too. But I feel like this person, they made a name for themselves as well. Because this is a lot of men. Like, there's like six men on here. So somebody, not only was they out here soon, they, wow, oh, somebody out here was really being a whore. Okay, like, I hope they don't flag my channel for that. But that's is how I'm seeing this. Somebody here had... A, a spiritually ordained blessed relationship that they could have had or they were a part of but either they won't they weren't ready or they feel like oh this is boring i'd rather be single or something like that and so they decided to leave you separated from this person or broke up or divorced and y'all went y'all separate ways and one person went on a healing journey the other person decided to be in this toxic low vibe energy just out here fucking every time dick and harry and shit and they caught something and they got legal shit going on too. Like, I don't know what the fuck this is. This person is in despair though. Alright, Taurus, let's see. Pull these cards for you. Yeah, free man. Like I said, some of you could be dealing with the Aries. Like, some of you Tauruses could have had a bad breakup with the Aries with the Ace of Cups reverse on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody out here fell out of love. They fell out of love in a relationship and they wanted to free themselves with the uh, food card. They wanted a new start, a fresh start, wanted to be free. They didn't want to be tied down anymore. They didn't want to be locked in, tied in, or whatever. I'm going to pull some Zodiac cards too because I want to see who this could be. What zodiacs are here for Taurus spirit? Shout out to the LGBTQ. Now I got a rip for my people. Libra, I told you, be aware of a Libra, Taurus, like real shit. If you're dating a Libra and this person is like being like super, super chivalrous, showing you a good time and, you know, pulling out all the stops and they're coming off as like uh, this boss daddy emperor energy, like they got shit together. Their successful business owner is bullshit. This person got legal trouble going on behind the scenes and they also got some sort of something going on with their health. Or they could be in legal trouble for jeopardizing somebody's health if they gave them something. So, Taurus, this is a warning. No wonder my spirit guys were like, Taurus, Taurus. So they kept screaming it. Like, I'm doing some whole other shit. Like, trying to get some shit done before I got to go do what I got to do. And, like, my spirit guys just kept screaming fucking Taurus. This is why. Like, you need to be aware of whoever this is, Taurus. Like, real shit. Yeah, Jupiter. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Because I feel like 
for the majority of you Tauruses, Virgo, you got time to prevent this because I feel like you and this person may have separated already or divorced already or something. So it's just like you don't even deal with this person. I feel like this person is has either came back in to try to make amends with you. So they're trying to court you or date you now or they're getting ready to come in. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? Like, why all of a sudden you want to be in a relationship now? Why do you all, all of a sudden want to be back together now? Why do you want to reconcile now? Like, definitely ask questions to us. Ask as many questions as you can because I feel like whoever this is is up to no fucking good. Like, real shit. But they're going to try to play it like ain't nothing going on. Moon card. Some of you be dealing with a cancer. A Capricorn on the bottom of the deck. So Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Cancer. All right, yeah, three of pentacles reversed. This person could be unemployed. They don't have a job. Three of pentacles reversed, or they have a job, or they're they're either on the verge of losing a job, or they're trying to find a job and they can't. It's like it's hard to get along with this person. Three of pentacles reversed. They don't work well with others. Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, they're trying to escape some sort of situation, but it's hard because it's too much baggage attached to it. Six of Swords reverse is when you're trying to move on, but you can't. Literally, it's something like stagnating you or holding you back. It definitely could be your thoughts because the Six of Swords is like mental energy. So somebody out here is stagnant because their mind is like scattered They're all over the place. This person is stressed out because Three of Pentacles reverse. They can't find a job or nobody is hiring. Like, look at this. It says not hiring. Hold on, Taurus. It says not hiring back there on that sign in the back of this card and the three of pentacles is in reverse so this person either lost their job or they keep applying for jobs and they're not hearing anything back or something like some this person is stressed out about money for sure or where they're going to stay because the six of swords reverse also talks about moving like literally so this person may be trying to move or they're trying to apply for applications and shit for like you know houses or apartments or something and nothing is coming of it then you got the Father of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but it's a uh, King of Cups. Father of Cups is the King of Cups, and it's in reverse. This person is very, very manipulative, very tricky, very emotionally unstable. This person could have a drinking problem or a drug problem. I'm hearing they could pop pills, mollies, uh, sip lean, or they just have a problem with alcohol with the King of Cups reverse. Very emotionally manipulative. Um the type of person that will gas bomb like gas bomb <laughs> gas like you love bomb you um and i'm telling you and then when i get the food card in this um in this deck it almost looks like um an investigator this man with this suit on so this man like i said they could be getting investigated about something with this legal card here they could be getting investigated by the authorities for something or the authorities are watching this person. This person has a lot going on. Their money is fucked up. They got legal trouble. Something is going on with this person. And then father, because reverse, this person is a pervert. It came out on top of the Isley Brothers. So some, for some of you, this man can be like bisexual or gay or down low or something. Real shit. Because this, I don't even know if a lot of y'all noticed this or will notice this in the beginning of the video. But the fact that I pointed this out and then the King of Cups reverse came out on top of the Isley Brothers. Yeah, this person could be down low. This person could literally like sleep with men, like low key behind the scenes and shit. And that's what this secret is. Like he could have caught something from one of his gay lovers or something like that. And now it's like legal trouble. Somebody is trying to sue him or something here like this. I don't know who the fuck this is. This person might be getting ready to get exposed or something. And then, you know, I got the rainbow on here for, you know, pride. But, you know, who's ever familiar with the LGBTQ um the pink, blue, and white is also for trans. Uh, that's that's the colors that represents my tra my transgender people. So this man could low key mess with like transgender men or transgender women. Like I'm telling you, it's something up with whoever the fuck this is. Like Taurus, you gonna have to be careful. Okay, wrap it up, please. Wrap it up. Three of Pentacles reverse. I 
I feel like this person with that three of pentacles reversed, they struggle to find a job. Yeah, two of wands reversed. This person picked the wrong path. They were fear. This person has a fear of change. I feel like this person is extremely stubborn. They have a fear of change. So even at one point in time, I feel like two, two of wands upright. This person had a choice to choose a different path, but they didn't. They didn't choose the right path out of fear. They stagnated themselves. They wanted to they wanted shit to stay the same. They didn't want to go down a new route because change is just too scary for this person. So they just chose to stay where they were, stay where they where they're at. And now this person's like stuck. Three of Pentacles, like they can't find a job, they can't find new work. I don't know. Why is the two of wands reverse? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, two of wands, two of swords. I'm telling you, when I start to get double twos like that, somebody out here goes both ways, okay? I'm telling you, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, Taurus, or this could be you, but somebody here goes both ways. They like women and men. Some of you could be getting a lot of twos. Like, yeah, this person ignored the signs. Two of swords with the two of wands reversed. They were supposed to choose a different path and go down a different route. And they chose not to. They ignored the signs with the two of swords. The three of pentacles reversed. I mean, I don't have another three out here yet. So I, I'm not picking up on a third party. But if it is a third party, I mean, this like this third party could have been somebody at their job. If it is, why is it two, two of wands, two of swords? Yeah, father of coins. I'm telling you, it's two men out here in the reverse. Uh, king of pentacles reverse, king of cups reverse. I feel like somebody had like a secret boyfriend. Or something like they were collaborating with behind the scenes. Three of Pentacles. The two tools is out here. I just said somebody goes both ways. And then we got the King of Pentacles reverse and the King of Cups reverse. This person has like a secret male lover or they did that they were working with, collaborating with. Or they tried to make it seem like, like if you, Taurus, if you were dealing with a man or a woman. If this is a woman, she could come off kind of masculine. But if you were dealing with a man or a woman. And they was they always had like a homeboy or a homegirl or a friend or something that they claimed that they were like business partners with or something. Three of Pentacles reverse. Mm -mm. I feel like they were collaborating in a different type of way, but they try to disguise it as a business venture or we're just business partners or something like that. No, these motherfuckers were lovers. Okay. And now it's some bullshit going on because it might be an STD involved. Somebody then got somebody sick. So now it's a problem. They don't want to work together no more. They don't want to collaborate. Motherfuckers, two of swords is ignoring per people's calls and shit. Six of swords reverse. Somebody's trying to escape this situation or something. They, they could be trying to pay somebody off, but I don't see anything out here about um blackmail or anything like that and this person could be investigated because the king of pentacles reverse is somebody who makes money illegally so this person could be getting investigated as far as their work or whatever it is that they do for money or how they make their money or something king of pentacles reverse is somebody who gets paid under the table or they're they're greedy their greed their need for materialistic shit and money like just takes them down a rabbit hole like this person could be like a gambler or it's just like it's just never enough it's greed it's like they can never get enough money like they just they can have enough money they they bank account could be full as fuck and this person still will still feel like they need more money and then they're bad with money too the king of that's probably why this person always need money they always about money 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 why because the king of physical reverse is horrible with money he is irresponsible like he's materialistic greedy so he could get a lot of money but then he spend it on stupid shit especially if this king of cups and king of pentacles is the same person like he can make a lot of money but then he got a drug problem so it's just like he make the money but then he spend it right back out on like drugs alcohol clothes shoes unnecessary shit king of pentacles reverse let's see
Yeah, the devil. Oh, man, I'm telling you, whoever the fuck. I'm t- Look, some of you, this could be a Capricorn because we got the King of Pentacles reverse with the uh, devil reverse. Some of you, this could definitely be a Capricorn. But whoever this is, I feel like this person is fully submerged in devil energy. This motherfucker is toxic, okay? This is a walking demon. If it's not an actual Capricorn or Earth sign, this person could just have a lot of Earth in their chart. This motherfucker is demonic, okay? I feel like they operate off of greed, off of money. That's the only thing that this motherfucker cares about. Because I'm telling you, at some point, I feel like this person took the wrong path with the two of wands reverse. They ruined their life. They had a, a opportunity to choose a different path or go a different direction. But they were so scared of change and so fearful of the unknown that they just kept doing what they were doing. And I feel like the universe or, or God may have tried to warn this person about that. And they did what they wanted to do anyway. And now this is the lifestyle that this person lives. King of Pentacles reversed with the devil. I feel like they make their money some type of way illegally. Or like I said, they may have like a business or something or some sort of career or something that they do. But whatever it is that they do, I feel like it's a cover up for what they really do behind the scenes. Like this motherfucker is toxic. This is somebody who couldn't overcome their addictions and, sh- and shit. This person can have a sex addiction also. Or like I said, this person could be like down low. So maybe they never came out the closet. And like, you know, when somebody isn't being authentic, they're not being true with their sexuality and shit. I mean, anytime you're not being your authentic self, whatever you're trying to hide or suppress doesn't really go away. It just comes out in other ways. So like the fact that this person is suppressing their sexuality it comes out in the form of greed. So this person doesn't know how to stop spending money. They don't know how to stop drinking because that's the only thing that helps them deal with this secret that they've been keeping. Like, I feel like this person is like not out in the open. And I'm sorry. I don't know why I always be getting look. I don't know why I always be picking up on this gay shit. Like, you know, and don't take that personal because I love my LGBTQ people. But I'm just saying... I don't know why I always pick this up in the reading for tourists. Like, I this shit is just oof. six of swords reverse. Somebody need to hear this. Yeah, nine of wands reverse. I'm telling you, this person had a hard life thus far. I'm telling you, nine of wands. This person is pissed off. They're holding a grudge. They're mad at the world, paranoid. This person has been through a lot of shit and they have major, major, major trust issues. But that's still no excuse to be doing this type of shit. Like, why is the Nine of Wands reverse? This person is tired and exhausted, okay? Especially with everything they got going on, all this legal shit, all this trying to look for a job. Making this money under the table, trying to keep this secret quiet. I feel like all of that shit is taking a toll on this person. I feel like, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, with the moon card out here, somebody's definitely trying to keep this shit on the low. All this shit that they're going through. Yeah, death card. Ooh. Nana, yeah, something here is over. Some of you be dealing with Scorpio. That's a death card here. Yeah, I feel like whatever this person has been trying to hide, it's over with. It's no more. Yeah, look at that sun. As soon as I say something here is over with, whatever they've been trying to hide, the sun comes out. The sun talks about illumination and shit. Something coming to the light. That's what I'm saying. Somebody here is going to get exposed to this shit. Like real shit. Or Taurus, if you were dating a, a Leo, something here could be over with a Leo. And you may be upset about that. Because the sun card is in the upright. So if you were in a relationship with a Leo and they called it quits. Like some of you Tauruses could be holding a grudge. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Sun in the hierophant hierophant is your energy towards and you're in the reverse some of you it's some narcissistic ass tourists out here 
the Hierophant reverse is not good. With the Devil reverse and the King of Pentacles reverse, this is it's a toxic ass masculine Taurus out here that I'm reading for. This motherfucker is very narcissistic, very much a tyrant, very much a bully. Somebody who refuses to conform, who 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 refuses to learn the spiritual lessons and do what they need to do. I feel like this person gave up on themselves a long time ago with the nine of wands reverse. Like this person then gave up on themselves a long time ago. They feel like they I'm I'm really getting it. Somebody feels like they ruined their life. They had an option to choose a different route, a different path in life, and they didn't choose the right one. So now they've been suffering, going through the motions, holding grudges, living a double life, being bad with money, having to do illegal shit, legal issues, just all kind of shit. And this person is just fucking like no good. This, this is the type of person who doesn't give a fuck anymore. They feel like since their life is ruined, everybody they come in contact with, they're going to ruin their fucking life too. It is somebody who does not give a fuck about nobody, not even themselves. It's like this person's almost waiting on the day that they fucking crash out or something because they just don't care. They feel like their life is not worth living. It's like this person is just out here doing shit until it's their time to go. And that's really sad. This could have been somebody that you were married to and this person just couldn't get their shit together. They couldn't honor their vows. This person could have been a cheater or a polygamist or had some sort of different spiritual belief. Some, for some of you, this could be an atheist. This person don't even believe in God. Like, I don't know who the fuck this is, but they are very, very demonic. Sorry. Emails and shit popping up. Yeah, Ten of Wands. This person just has a lot of burden, a lot of struggle, a lot of baggage, just a lot of shit that they deal with. Why is the King of Cups reverse? Yeah, Will of Fortune reverse. I'm telling you, this person feels like they didn't have the worst look, that their life is just, they just live a fucking unlucky ass life. Like real shit. They just feel like they live like the most unluckiest life ever. And so they just wake up every day figuring out a way to ruin everybody's life that they come in contact with. Whether it's giving them this disease or something. Yeah, moon card reverse. I'm telling you this person is going to be exposed for this. But some of you it could be a cancer. The secret is going to come out. You got the moon card reverse with the sun upright. This person is going to get exposed for whatever this is. Or if it doesn't have anything to do with the LGBTQ shit, this is just somebody, like I said, you could have been married to. It was some sort of commitment here with the Hierophant, but it's in the reverse. Somebody here did something to sabotage a commitment or a marriage or something, and they've been trying to hide it, but it's going to be exposed. For some of you, you found out your spouse is gay or down low or something. Yeah, or Taurus, you could have been married to a Leo or something. This Leo went through some sort of transformation with the death card. And maybe this, this Leo that you were married to or committed to has came out as gay now. And like you're pissed about it. It's like this person would rather be with the same sex than you. I feel like this person couldn't suppress it anymore. Like they were just happier with the same sex. Moon card. Yeah, King of Swords Reverse. There's a lot of kings out here. I'm telling you, somebody out here is promiscuous or I don't know, they sleep with a lot of men or they have some sort of secret gay addiction where they like to sleep with men down low. But like, it's like promiscuous though. It's not just one man that they're sleeping with. It's multiple men out here. We got the King of Cups Reverse. Uh, King of Pentacles reverse, King of Swords reverse, and I feel like they're all mad at this person. Something here then went completely wrong. Something here then took a turn for the worse with the Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Moon card upright. Something here went completely wrong, and it's getting ready to be exposed. Whoever this man is that's been out here like sleeping with other men, possibly unprotected and passing something around, they're getting ready to expose this motherfucker. Okay. King of Swords reverse. 
or a Leo could expose this person. Yeah, seven of wands. Oh my God, seven of wands reverse. This person is going to be so fucking embarrassed, dog. This person is going to be so embarrassed. This is somebody who is not spiritually protected with the seven of wands reverse. They can never admit what they're fucking wrong. They, they don't stand up for themselves. This is somebody who doesn't know how to create boundaries with people. All right, Taurus. All right, go. Okay. Seven of Wands reverse. Yeah, Eight of Wands reverse. It's going to be a state of emergency. Somebody may have to go and help this person. Like, real shit. Yeah, Ace of Wands reverse. Nine of Wands reverse out here again. Yeah, Five of Swords. I'm talking about somebody's telling. Ooh, somebody. Ooh, Ace of Swords. It's the truth. Ooh. Five of Swords, like. I feel like this person is going to get exposed and they're going to lie about it, honestly. But it's going to be proof. This person can't lie. Legal issues is out here. Somebody is going to have proof of what this person has been doing, but they're going to try to lie about it. The five of swords reverse, they're going to try to lie and play games and try to mind fuck people into like this person is going to be manipulative and try to get people to believe that this is not true. But it is true. Ace of swords is upright. This is facts. Whatever this person was doing, it's the truth. Whatever it is, whatever secret is coming out, whatever this person's being exposed about, it's the truth. They're going to try to lie and say that it's not true, but it's definitely going to be true. Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's a lot of vicious gossip going on about this person. Rumors and shit. Five of Swords reversed. Like, because this person is always lying, always trying to get over and shit. They could be having problems with their shit, too. The Ace of Wands reversed. Like, they shit probably not even working right now. Like... I feel like this person is experiencing some sort of imp imp impotence. However you say the damn word, they can't get it up basically because it's like this person been lying and sneaking and hiding and people are whispering and talking about this person. It's just like, mm -mm, 10 of wands. It, I feel like this is weighing heavy on this person. They know that this is getting ready to happen. That's why this person is par paranoid. Yeah, queen of wands. Yeah, look, it's a little birdie out here talking to this Queen of Wands, too. So, somebody may tell this Queen of Wands about this person. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Somebody out here is a gold digger, okay? Whoever this earth sign is, it could be a Virgo. So, gold digging ass Virgo out here with the Nine of Pentacles reverse. I'm telling you, whoever this is, it doesn't have to be a Virgo, but they can have Virgo in their chart. But Virgo did come out. But this person, whatever type of business they claim that they got, entrepreneurship, no, no, no. That shit is shady. Like, this person could be running some sort of brothel for real. Like, this person could be acting like they do one thing as a business, but what they really do is have clients. This person sleeps with a lot of people for money behind the scenes is what they really do for a business. Nine of Pentacles reverse. It's like this person had gotten desperate. Their greed, their greed has taken them to such a low place. I mean, this person then resorted to sleeping with the same sex just for money like for some to try to maintain non principle diverse some sort of social status non principles yeah three of swords this person is a big liar i'm telling you three of swords yeah seven of pentacles I, this person does this they plot and they plan this shit okay they've been doing this shit for a long time with the seven of pentacles but now it's like crumbling down. This shit not working anymore. Their clients are becoming agitated and unsatisfied. I don't know what the fuck. All right. Food card. Yeah, justice reverse. Ooh, tell you somebody definitely dealing with a Libra. Somebody here is getting really bad karma. The Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Justice card reverse. Somebody out here is in deep shit. Like, if this is, at this point, you can't lie your way out of this. Five of Cups reverse, yeah. This person just has a lot of regrets. They're just sad, heartbroken, jaded. They're the magician because this person didn't do nothing but play games and manipulate people. Now they want to apologize to motherfuckers. Look at that. Now they want to apologize. Judgment is here. Look at people. Look at that lady face when they found out what this man was really doing behind the scenes. What this business really was. This is like a male prostitute out here or something. 
or they did something, Knight of Swords reversed. This person's a liar, a fast talker, telling you lovers require reverse. They was having sex. I don't know what the fuck this is, okay? Towards where gotta go. If it resonates, please let me know. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.